Tonight, and every night for the rest of your life, I want you to take the last five minutes before you go off to sleep and realize that you are about to program your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is most at home when you are unconscious, when you are asleep. If you spend the last five minutes of your day, which so many people do, reviewing all of the things that you don't like, and all the things that didn't work out, and how terrible you feel, and who abused you, and who was mean to you, and who said this, and they did this, and you're constantly doing this kind of thing with your mind, then you are programming your subconscious mind that when you awaken, because you're now about to marinate for the next eight hours in your subconscious mind. And then when you awaken, you will rejoin the universal subconscious mind, the mind of God, from which we all originate. We're all just individualized personal expressions of that one thing that we call the Tao, or God, or divine mind, or soul, or spirit. But the Tao that can be named is not the Tao. So you want to be real careful about how you program your subconscious mind. This is from the book of Job. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. Job 33, 15 and 16. When you are slumbering on your bed, he opens your ears and seals your instruction. What you place into your subconscious mind as you are about to go into this deep slumber is all dependent upon what you do the last three or four or five minutes before you go off to sleep. You want to place into your imagination whatever you have placed into the I am that that I spoke about earlier. I am well. I am content. I am peaceful. I am happy. I am prosperous. I am abundant. I am God. I am God. I am God. Because at the basic core, each and every one of us are just that. So it's like if you just close your eyes and just listen to this meditation. <clears throat> it's from the book Three Magic Words. Here's what I'd like you to say to yourself at night. I know that I am pure spirit that I always have been, and that I always will be. There is inside me a place of confidence and quietness and security where all things are known and understood. This is the universal mind, God, of which I am a part and which responds to me as I ask of it. This universal mind knows the answer to all of my problems, and even now, the answers are speeding their way to me. I needn't struggle for them. I needn't worry or strive for them. When the time comes, the answers will be there. I give my problems to the great mind of God. I let go of them, confident that the correct answers will return to me when they are needed. Through the great law of attraction, everything in life that I need for my work and fulfillment will come to me. It is not necessary that I strain about this. Only believe, for in the strength of my belief, my faith will make it so. I see the hand of divine intelligence all about me, in the flower, the tree, the brook, the meadow. I know that the intelligence that created all these things is in me and around me, and that I can call upon it for my slightest need. I know that my body is a manifestation of pure spirit, and that spirit is perfect. Therefore, my body is perfect also. I enjoy life, for each day brings a constant demonstration of the power and wonder of the universe and myself. I am confident. I am serene. I am sure. No matter what obstacle or undesirable circumstance crosses my path, I refuse to accept it. For it is nothing but illusion. There can be no obstacle 
or undesirable circumstance to the mind of God, which is in me, around me, and serves me now. This is the great lesson. Know this within you. When Herman Melville was writing Moby Dick, he wasn't writing about a man looking for a whale. He was writing about a man trying to find his higher self. He said these words, For as this appalling ocean surrounds the verdant land, so in the soul of man lies one insular Tahiti, full of peace and joy, but encompassed by all of the horrors of the half-lived life. In every moment of your life as you leave here today, you have this choice. You can either be a host to God or a hostage to your ego. It's your call. Thank you. God bless you. Namaste.